Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know I haven't done a video like this in like more than a year at this point, uh, but today we're just going to be talking about the five new animatronics that Spirit has released for the 2022 season. So for those of you who don't know, they did a kind of very similar to what they did with the Graveyard Shift last year. They released a little trailer and then they also released five animatronics alongside it. Obviously not the full lineup, but it's something. I'm not going to be really talking about the trailer just because I feel like everybody's probably already seen that and it's, I don't think it has anything of value really to it. Uh, it's kind of cringy in my opinion. I'm, I don't really like this kind of marketing that they're doing nowadays with like the lore and everything like that. I think they're trying too hard. Uh, I think just stick to the basics. But anyway, let's start off with the Bag of Bones animatronic. So this is a three foot animatronic from Techie, uh, very similar, or pretty much the exact same thing as the goblin animatronic that they made for Home Depot, just without the goblin. Uh, it's just this little skeleton here that pops out of this bag. Uh, it's from the looks of it, it's the exact same skeleton and mechanism and everything. Just the front of the bag has been customized with the spirit logo and everything. And you can see the Spirit Acres Farm right there, which is obviously a reference to 2018. Uh, but let me just show you the video of it here real quick. If it will load, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. It's, for $150, that is way too much. I mean, it's just a pretty cheap looking plastic skeleton um, in a pop-up zombie mech. I think it's like 190 maybe, $90 prop, $100 prop. It's not bad. I mean, I mean, you can see there's some green lights there. I think it's a decent scare. But for $150, which is, I believe, pretty much the exact same price as that goblin that they made for Home Depot, where you get, like, an actual prop with it, the goblin itself, I just don't understand why you would want to spend money on this versus that goblin. I don't think it's anything special. Again, it's not bad, but I, it's, it's just, I don't know. I don't hate it, but I think for $150 it's not anything that I would be purchasing without a ton of coupons or a sale. Um, I think maybe 50% off sale, if they still have it, maybe I'll get it. I mean, that's still pretty steep, but it's, it's not, it is kind of my kind of prop. I am a fan of these simple classic jump scare kind of props, but it's just, it, it isn't really speaking to me. It's not anything that I'm super excited about. Yeah, that, that one's okay. Again, it seems like it's just going to be a filler animatronic, but maybe they'll have it in the themes. I don't quite remember. Uh, moving on, let's go to Lucky Bottoms. So this one is $170, so even more expensive than Bag of Bones. And it is 2.6 feet, so a couple inches shorter. And this, this one just really makes zero sense to me. I mean, like... Okay, I don't know. I don't think it is the worst thing in the world. It's not good at all. This, in my opinion, looks very similar to something that Sunstar might make. But, like, let me show you the video here. As you can see there, it just, it just looks cheap to me. Like, A, it makes no sense. Why, why is it so short? I mean, like, it's a groundbreaker, but then why is it a clown? Why is there no, like, dirt around it or anything to indicate that it's supposed to be coming out of the ground? Like, that bit just makes absolutely no sense to me. I don't get it. It looks really, really cheap. The clothing has pretty much no detail. Like the hands look so cheap. 
the movement is Sunstar. Like, it, the spring... Okay. The spring mouth is all right. I will give it that. I do think the idea of a spring mouth is pretty cool. I like those. And from what it seems like, it looks like it probably just has a miserable marine mech. I would guess that this is Will you. But, like, it, it's just so cheap to me. Like, I really do not think that this is anything that I would ever consider buying at this price. And again, I'm not the biggest clown guy, but even so, this is just not a great prop. I'm not a fan of it. I think it's pretty disappointing. Again, it feels very filler to me, but I feel like most of the animatronics that they've released kind of feel filler to me as well. So I'm wondering how they're going to uh, incorporate this into a lab or if they're going to even incorporate this into a lab. But it just makes no sense to me. I'm not a fan of it. I mean, again, I could see how maybe you'd like this. I think it has potential, but I just think it's pretty poorly executed and looks decently cheap. So not one that I'm going to be getting, especially at how ridiculous this price is. Um, then let's move on to Monty. And oh God, do I have some opinions about this animatronic? <sighs> All right. I know a lot of people really love this one, and I, I, I think it's a cool concept. I mean, it's, you know, very similar to those uh, symbol monkeys that they sold, I don't remember when, I think it was like 2017, uh, those little tabletop ones. But like, uh, here, let me show you the video. It's so mediocre. Like, I hate it. Like, I this animatronic is easily one of, if not, my least favorite thing Modern Spirit has made. Like, okay, so first of all, the symbols on it look so cheap. They're just like that thin plastic that bends really, really easily that you would see on, like, shoes and stuff like that for animatronics. Um... I guess it's cool that it comes with the box. I mean, it's a four foot animatronic, realistically, but I guess you could consider it six foot with that box. It looks better cool. I'll give it that. I think they did a decent job on the costume of it. But for $300, an animatronic that's technically only four feet has very simple movement and audio that isn't really anything special. I just cannot see myself buying this. I like it had potential. Like okay, I I you know, I'm more of a fan of classic stuff. But they've done animatronics that are really out of the box that I think work super duper well. This is not one of them. This one is so like uh, it's just a missed opportunity for me. I won't be getting it. Again, I'm sure there will be a lot of people who do like this animatronic, but for me personally, I'm just not a fan of this one. Uh, I'm not sure who makes it. It looks maybe party time to me, maybe YJ, not too sure. But it's very simple, very basic. Not really a huge fan of this one. Um... Next up, let's go to Lord Raven. For me personally, I don't like love this one, but I think this has to be my favorite of what they've released. It's it's not the best. I let me show you the video of it here. I knew you would be here soon. You could say I have eyes all over. Remember, wherever you run, my crows and I will find you. So, I think the movement of it is pretty cool. Uh, I think the concept of it is pretty cool. Uh, 
it's only six feet, which when I first saw photos of this, I was expecting it to be like a seven to eight foot prop just because you see this kind of stature and look and I don't know, you expect it to be much taller. But uh, it, it's definitely my favorite what's been released. I don't think that it's anything special necessarily. I think that it is still a decently forgettable animatronic. But I could actually, not at this $300 price tag at all, but I think with some coupons or on a 50% off sale, I could see myself getting this because I do like that movement on it. I think the audio is pretty cool. And I think the whole concept of it is pretty cool. It kind of feels classic yet also pretty unique. But overall, I don't think it's anything super special. It's my personal favorite of the line, but I think it's not anything groundbreaking and I don't think that it's really anything that warrants $300 but again teach their own if you want to pay that full price that is you because this is definitely a pretty cool animatronic uh yeah let's move on to the final prop and this seems to be the one that everyone likes most uh this is the bog zombie uh let me show you a video of it So, this seems to be universally liked or at least from what I've seen, it seems like this is most people's favorite of the line. For me personally, again, I think it's pretty cool. This would have to be my second favorite. I like the kind of zombie feel of this. I, it does feel like a pretty classic zombie to me. It's not really anything special. Again, I mean, I think the looks of it are really cool. Uh, I think it's I'm pretty sure it's SVI, and I think they did a really good job on that face there. I like it. Uh, but it just reminds me of Cellar Dweller with different movement. I think the movement on it is also pretty cool. I mean, it's again, it's not anything special, but I think it fits a zombie. So if these kind of props are up your alley, I think maybe with a 20% off coupon, this could be a pretty decent purchase. But for me personally... I don't see myself buying this except for maybe at a 50% off sale, but I'm assuming that this one is going to sell out way before the 50% off sale if uh, this year is going to be like 2021. Um, but I like it. I think think the movement fits it. I like those uh, yellow eyes there as well. I feel like yellow eyes are kind of underrated on zombies and props like this. I don't really know what else to say about it. It's it's okay. Two hundred and fifty dollars is not a great price for it though, and it isn't some it isn't a price that I'm gonna pay. And really, that's kind of the case with all of these animatronics. To wrap it up, I think everything here so far has been very disappointing to me. And compared to what Home Depot and Party City have shown us, is <laughs> there just isn't competition here at all like even if sure some of these animatronics are a little better looks wise than what home depot and party city are offering with movement and price considered there's just it's i would never ever pick spirit over home depot and party city this year too to be honest they've been doing pretty good uh that's really all I would have to say about this animatronic, or these animatronics, I don't think they're necessarily horrible, but with prices considered, they're, they're pretty disappointing. Yeah, that's really all I would have to say. So far, not impressed by anything that Spirit has done. I understand that this isn't the whole lineup, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but for what I've seen with some other animatronics and some images and leaks and stuff like that, I 
there's maybe one or two this year that I'll consider getting, but really I don't see Spirit being something that I really, really want to purchase. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching, and bye.